Okay. We haven't got a lot of time, so we gotta get into the big issues. Do you believe in God? Mm. Me too. And I totally think that he has it out for me. Gibbs cuts everyone else slack and then totally craps all over me, and I wanna know why. Why, why would he put a little boy in a home with a father like that? Make my mother lose herself so completely that she'd rather die than be with me. But if he is all-knowing, then God must be okay with me killing people. Mm. Mm. Ah, shrink, who wants to talk? Mm. Right, if I untape you, we're gonna get on the fast road to mental health, okay? Okay, you start doing the silent shrink thing and I can't predict what I'll do. Mm. Now, why do I hear voices? Oh, a lot of people hear voices. Or thoughts they can't stop. A lot of people? Yeah. It might be a voice telling them they're worthless or stupid, or, or it could tell them to indulge every desire. Uh, drink that drink, take that drug, follow every sexual impulse, or it could be a cynical voice telling them nothing matters, that their efforts are insignificant. You hear stuff like that? Yeah, I have thoughts. Not exactly the same as you, but similar. They tell me that I'm fat or psychotherapy is, is not a worthwhile exercise, that, that is not real, that, that I should have aimed higher than a government job, that my potential is being squandered, that I'm unworthy of love. But none of that's true. So what do you do about it? Well, I can't shut them off entirely. Nor would I want to. But I can't argue against them. Just because you have thoughts doesn't mean you have to act on them. You don't have to act on them? No. Being alone in the world is the root of all suffering. But Jerry, you're not alone. See, that's like 10 years of therapy in 10 seconds. <laughs>